Liverpool Council, they had a two-year battle with New South Wales government to remove their 30k speed limit. Do you know why this 30k speed limit came in? It was as part of a program trial as a COVID-19 response. Yeah, not kidding. It was to support more active travel and reduce accidents as part of the COVID-19 response in a program trial. It was a met- Hang on, you need to explain that to me. I mean, I'm, oh, you, David, it's it, obvious. Am I the dumbest in the room? I don't <laughs> yes, get it. Like, it's obvious, David, move on. Bureaucracy so, was involved. That's the explanation. I don't get it. The measure was met by an avalanche of complaints and became a convenient cash grab for the government. Surprise, surprise. The mayor said that uh, Liverpool's victory, uh, they, they had it overturned. Liverpool's victory in getting rid of this 30K spilling limit has saved other councils in Sydney from having similar limits imposed. Absolutely, that's the case. But in exchange for lifting the limit, the state has required the council to install an extra pedestrian barrier. So there you go, an example of political action uh, fighting back against the creeping bureaucracy. Because here in, in Victoria, we currently have, uh, as I said, 30,000 40 zones and 30,000 60 zones, and it's gradually, they're about the same. With this, what you're talking about, bureaucracy drive towards zero, it's just going to keep tilting and tilting. There's no, nothing holding them back from uh, keep People have to make going. noise about it, yeah. Yes. Exactly, make noise. The best part of this, of course, is revenue. That's what the state loves. Yeah.